Hello, my name is Joshua and I'm a Republican based here in the great state of Texas. I have been a Republican my entire life. Ever since I've been a voting age, I voted for Bush, voted for John McCain, voted for uh, Mitt Romney. Um, but in 2016, whenever it came down to voting, I was poised with a, the most difficult decision I've had in my voting uh, history. And it was between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton, I didn't agree with on a lot of things. And in fact, whenever the whole Benghazi thing came out, I wasn't super versed on it, but I knew I took offense to that. And that kind of persuaded me to kind of question my vote for her. But Donald Trump, I thought might have been an interesting vote because he had no political background. In fact, I didn't know what political party he was until he actually ran for office. But that said, I thought that he might have brought some interesting perspective to uh, the offices of the presidency. Um, so you would think that I would have voted for him in 2016. I didn't. I, I in fact, was part of the, uh, the problem. I, I didn't vote at all because I found Donald Trump's rhetoric to be extremely divisive, extremely offensive, misogynistic. Um, the, the list continues. So I just didn't vote. I, I was upset with the political system because here in Texas, we have voted Republican for since like 1960s, you know, it's, it's been a long time. So what is my one vote going to do? I mean, do I vote for third party? Is that really going to change anything? No, it really wasn't going to change anything. Um, is my vote for, you know, a Democrat in a Republican state really going to change the electoral college? No, it's not going to change the electoral college. So I was like, okay, like many others, I thought, ah, screw it. My vote doesn't count. So I didn't vote. I didn't really care until something happened. I've always admired John McCain. John McCain is an American war hero. He is a person that my family talked about long before he ran for presidency. He has always been admired um, and for, for his sacrifice that he did for the country. And I think what his lasting legacy is going to be on my heart is whenever he voted down on repealing the Affordable Care Act. That, that one action right there just spoke volumes to his character and to his integrity because he didn't vote down to make anybody mad. He didn't vote down... Um, because he thought it was a bad idea. No, it, well, actually, he voted down primarily because he knew the effect that it would have on many millions of people. He knew that before, uh, repealing the Affordable Care Act would have been the worst thing that has happened to many people. And for him to recognize the fact that he is in one political party that should be voting to repeal it, but putting all political party aside and voting down for it, he did that because of his character. And that's whenever I realized that character is a very, very big part of what my vote is. It doesn't matter if I'm in a state that's probably going to vote Republican. My vote speaks to my character. And honestly, whenever it comes to the 2020 election, there's one clear choice whenever it comes to character, and it's Joe Biden. Joe Biden has been the clearest choice of a person that's against misogyny, against the alt-right, against all these divisive types of hate groups. Uh, something else happened in my life from 2016 to 2020. I got married. Um, and after that, I eventually had a child. And as I look at my baby girl, who is about to turn a year old, I know that in the future, she's going to look back on 2020, the year that she would, you know, turn one. And she's going to ask a lot of questions. She's going to learn about the political landscape. And she's going to look at me as her father and, and wonder, you know, who did he vote for? What, what did he support? I want my conscience to be clear that I voted 100% based on character because my vote speaks to my character and my character reflects a person that has good character. So I encourage everybody to vote for Joe Biden in the 2020 election. I know that there's going to be some of my Republican uh, counterparts that might find this a bad decision because he is not a Republican, but I have full confidence stating that He's one of those Democrats that will cross the line and will cross the aisle and shake hands of our opponent. Because honestly, it's our differences that grow us. So I encourage everybody to vote for Joe Biden in 2020. I will 100% be voting for him. And it's time to 8645. Thank you.